Right, side gear carrier, that's what they call it on uh, on the Land Rover website. Sandwich box, whatever you want to call it. We are going to fit this side gear carrier. This is not a genuine one, this is an aftermarket one. Right, this one has got a funky UK flag design. My keys have taken a tumble. It's all going wrong today. Right, so this is our new box we are launching. It's a lockable box and you fit it on the side of your car. Now we've done the video fitting this on the 110 before. We fitted the genuine silver one on the 110, but on the 90, it makes more sense. We've got this massive back window we can fit it here. And obviously those of you that have got a 90 will know space is more of a premium in a 90 than it is in a 110. Now you can only fit the side gear carrier on one side. On this side here, you have three holes, one there, there and there and you can use those two for the ladder, and you can use these two for the sandwich box. But on the other side, come around this way, for some reason, only known to Land Rover themselves, you only have two holes, and these are the holes we're talking about. So these are threaded holes you can see here that normally hide behind the waist trim. There's the one, and there's the other look really close together. We're not going to be able to bolt anything on those. We have a, a deficit of holes here, but the one that's actually missing is this third one, which lives about here. And without those two at the wider spacing, you can't put the side gear carrier on here, which is really annoying if you're in the UK, like us, because you really would want to park your car and this side is pavement side, and you want to open the side gear carrier on this side, because otherwise you'll be in the road. Um, but that's the way Land Rover have done it. Why they couldn't have added a hole there, I don't know. Now, we do do a kit where you can put a riv nut in here and you can then mount it on this side if you want. Okay, right. We also do the molly plates that you can fit on both sides and then you can fit the side gear carriers to the molly plates and then you've got pure symmetry. We like a bit of symmetry. Right, okay. So what are we gonna do? We are gonna show you how, what you get in the kit. We're gonna show you how to fit it. It's not too big a job. In fact, on the vehicle itself, there is no drilling required. It is just this little plasticky waste strip. Right, so let's have a look. What did we get in this fantastic kit? So you have the main box with a lock and the keys and a net and a drain hole. So when you put your, your um, um, wetsuit in the back, it doesn't dribble. We used it for cheese. When we came back from France, this was the cheese box because there's nothing worse than being on the ferry. You get back in your car in the morning after being on the ferry and the, the car mings of cheese. So this is our cheese box. It's also, it's also the um, four bar four, isn't it? When we go camping, we've got the ferry lights set up and that. Anyway, we digress. Right, so what have we got? We've got the box. We have got the bottom mount, which consists of this sort of clever little bolt with a little hole in it and a little spacer and that goes through there and that goes into there and the side trim sits in between this and that goes into the holes and this is a little spacer that goes in between so that's the bottom mount that's a cover that will go on that when we finish same again for that side these are the the hanging arms and they come with a series of screws now bear in mind there's there's the long screws and the short screws make sure you use the short screws for these four, the two longer screws, where do they go? I've forgotten where the two longer screws go. They go in the top mounts, don't they? Hold on. No, where do the two longer screws? The two longer screws are here. That's the two, see, they look the same, but be careful because these screws are longer. And if you put them in this side, they'll go through your window and that would be badness. Right, watch that, you've been warned. So the shorter, four shorter screws go in here and they go through there, through these little holes there and they will bolt the, um, it's one of the first things we'll do, we'll bolt that on. And then these are the top mounts. So these cling on to the top. Now you do have to have the roof rails fitted to your car to fit these side. So you need the front to back roof rails. They were not supplied on most cars. Right, in fact, did the V8s not have them? They had that thing where they didn't do them. They didn't test it, they didn't pass the homologation. But it's the same body shell, I reckon. Don't sue me. So I reckon you could get away with it. Right, okay. So this is the top mount. So this is the jigsaw puzzle. You've got a bolt, you've got a washer, you've got the top, and you've got the little bottom slider. And we're gonna show you how to do that now. Right, what do you reckon first, Destiny? Let's put all that, what are we gonna need? You're gonna need some masking tape. You're gonna need a drill, because you're gonna have to drill that side rail. And that's the bit that's a bit like, Arr! and we're sort of working on a solution for that, that we're nearly there on, aren't we? 
and you'll need a screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket and the drill right bam we're done this is a template that zach has designed and this is brilliant look this is going to tell you where to drill your holes this is going to go on here you're going to get the rear here it will say left here and you line that up that that and that will give you your now obviously we've put the three holes in but don't go drilling three holes because for the sandwich box we only need these two do, 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 do. and then when you go to the other side of the car let me show you this but you're not going to fit the sandwich box holder on the other side probably not because there's no hole in the rear position you'll do the same thing you'll put it there and you'll need to drill your strip there but you can see that lines up with that hole and that one lines up for that hole but that's for the ladder not for you and but you'll see you are missing this hole look it's it's just it's missing missing in action there you go Andrew, why did they leave that hole out? There you go. Right. Let's do this destiny. How's the best way of doing this? Right. So we have got to put the straps on first, haven't we? So let's unscrew those from there. Now, can we do this on the, on the bench without it all toppling over? Probably. Here we go. Here we go. I've got this. Right. So you can see the holes through here. Okay. All right. Let's line that up. Now, they're both the same, aren't they? They're, they're not. Are they left and right? They seem to be the same. Oh, no. Oh. Has, that R on it? Has that got an R on it? So let's have a look at the difference. So left and right. Oh, no, this says F. So that must be front. Front, so front, front and rear. So which one is rearmost? One. Hold on. This corner is going to be the rearmost one. So what, what's the difference between them anyway? Can we have a look? What is the, what have they F denard up? It's hard to say, isn't it? Hmm. I know. Oh, oh, no, no, look, they're not, are they not central at the top? No, they look central at the top. Are they a different length? Look, one's a... They are ever so slightly. Look, 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 look here, look here. There's a step here, look. It's almost like they're, they're sort of slightly right. So one, so make sure you don't get that wrong. So the front, will be here. The front is going to be there. Front, rear. Oh, here we go. We nearly had it all wrong. Right, we got this, we got this, we can do this. Right then. If you want professional videos, you're on the wrong channel, folks. Sorry. All the gear, no idea, that's us in it, Destiny. Right, so let's get that. Right, I'll get that other, I'll get that other one on and get those tightened up and then we'll rejoin you. Right. Let's get started on the car. Now, when you put the case on, it get it, there's a risk of damaging your paintwork here. So we're just gonna go, because we're keen, aren't we, Destiny? We're keen, we're gonna, and we've got, we're supposed to be selling this car back, aren't we, to Land Rover? So just to stop us scratching. This black paint, we might prefer the white painted stick, don't we? This black paint, you look at it and it scratches. Right, and then what we need to do, oh, I need to get that off. There you go, get that off there. All right, that's just to protect the paintwork. And then this masking tape is gonna go over this strip here. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna put the template up. Mark where we mark where we've got a drill. Oh, I'm a bit keen there. We're not going not going that far, far, far. Right, so here we go. So we need to go right up to that back edge there. There you go, up to that back edge. All right. I got it right. I got it upside down. I'm doing it all wrong. Well done. Quality control, Destiny. All right then. And then that should rest there. All right. And then don't do that one. You'll be in a right pickle. All right. Now one thing you'll notice is these holes are quite on the 110 when we fitted it. They seem to be in the middle of this waste strip. But on this 90, for some reason I can't explain why. The holes in the bodywork seem to be a bit higher up. So right, so we're now ready to whoop that off and shh, drill that. So these, it's best if you start at this end. Now we've had this off, how many times, Des? Oh, yeah, can't even, we're, in, we're, in, we're into treble figures with this badger. But basically when you do it, you'll have to fight it a little bit. But this one's kind of given up now. He's, he's beaten into submission, this one. Oh, I don't want that on there. Ugh. Right, so, and this is held in place with these little funky clips. Now, 
waste rails we tried to get some waste rails pre-drilled made in china now these are actually the genuine ones are made from aluminium and they're really hard to drill because you see where you drill through you've got to go through this aluminium seam and it really throws the drill off it's not a nice uniform thickness piece of metal so and it's kind of grisly and then if you want to take your side gearbox off you're left with two holes in your original car so we're kind of recommending that you buy the second strip so where's those other strips we do that the other strips they're not quite ideal are they she's walking backwards don't don't fall over walking backwards right then so we have got these strips and they're they have got holes drilled in them and they're roughly in the right place so let me get the right one so that is the left hand side this is the right hand side one um now we've put three holes in this because we are playing with the molly plate but it should have two holes in it and you can see in fact they're they're a little bit off aren't they so we're trying to get these blank but the interesting thing about these is you see, if you look at them they're completely plastic there's no aluminium so they're much easier to drill so we are and we also have the utility rails coming where's the utility rails oh simon you need to prepare for these videos we have got these coming for the 90 which have got the holes already pre-made in them that you can put on like this and we've got these coming in black and silver at the moment we've only got these for the 110 we've just got these in black for the 110 right so for now we are going to drill in our original one although it's a bit scary so right let's get that set up get a bit of wood on here and drill that out so yeah, i'll just have a look at this but just it's kind of relevant because if i put the, the ruler across the center line between the pinholes you'll notice that hole is well higher well on the 110 they follow a similar center line so watch this on the 90 so when you're drilling this is the point i'm trying to make don't drill in the middle of the strip make sure you follow where you've marked because they do definitely need to be higher right so here's the point of no return so we're going to get this bit of wood now obviously you, you can't rest it flat because you've got these little clips here although you could you can actually disengage these clips they're on like little sprung legs and you can squeeze them in and eject them so i'm gonna go that way up so there we go we've got a 19 millimeter hole saw we could center punch it but it's plastic we should be okay he's a bit he's a bit wobbly isn't he do you reckon that drill's bent inside i reckon the drill in the middle is bent Right, I've straightened up my drill. Right, here we go. Now you can see this is aluminium. You can start to see I'm biting in there. Right then. Oh, I can't say biting in, can I? It's still a bit wobbly. Now at some point when those teeth grip, it's gonna go a bit. There you go so it looks a bit grizzly now um obviously it's all going to be covered by these bottom sections but what's got to pass through is this has got to pass through so we've got to have clearance there for that to go through right so that's one done or oh, you better not watch me do the other right right so we've put that on the car and it's in the right place but you can see the holes are just exceptionally high and actually in the genuine land of instructions they do say you have to chunk this bit out but You've got to be a bit careful because you don't really want to chunk the rubber strip out it's a little bit awkward really um, because your rubber strip stops the water sort of running down the back here and keeps the weather off all these holes even though you've got the foam so we are just gonna we're gonna we're just gonna use a fire or oh, which way am i going i'm just gonna sort of square the tops off a little bit with the file neaten it up a bit um, but yeah, it's just really hard. Land Rover could have done with putting the holes lower down, really, so they were in the middle of the strip. Why they've gone up high, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, Destiny will show you the instructions there. So you can see the instructions. Now, I'm not sure they used to have this, but basically after you've drilled the holes, they're saying use a multi-tool just to cut out that top bit um, so that you end up with this sort of whatever shape that is, square at the top and round at the bottom shape. 
So there we go. Right, we'll we'll file it as neatly as we can. Right, so Destiny has filed these out. So we've got a nice square top. And you'll see they are on this 90. They're brutally close to the top. Now Land Rover provides you with these square washers here. And in Land Rover's instructions, they tell you to fit them in this orientation. Can you see that? It's hard with all the blackness going on. But the problem you've got is you can do that, um, but... They don't actually clear because what you've got is it catches on this aluminium extrusion. So we thought, oh, why don't we fit it this way? And we thought, hold on, someone cunning at Land Rover has actually designed them to go in like that. But the problem with that was they were then to it put the hole in the middle of the strip where the hole is, needs to be at the top. So we've actually found these impossible to use. So we have got on the 3D printer and we have printed some round washers. And these are just, I don't know why they don't use round washers. So, right, you need to take your bolt and your round washer. And I'll screw that in. Right, and I'll screw the other one in as well. Now we could tighten those later because we've got access to the head, haven't we? So what this is gonna give you is it's gonna give you a fixed mounting point and there's that thread inside there. So that is gonna give us a nice M6 mounting point. And then we can grip this back over now. So yeah, those square ones, they are, they are a recipe for disaster. If you've got those, you could file them round if you are experiencing the problems we did. Right, so here we go. So those holes now should line up. And then, you should be able to get that trim in. Let's have a go. Well, make sure you get that weather trim in. It's tight there though, isn't it? It I is. found a tuck and fold. The tuck, we're going yeah. to tuck and fold. Ah, tuck it up. Ah, oh, look at that, that is a pro tip there. Right, hold on, let me get that one. Oh, oh there we go. That is a pro tip, Destiny. Tuck and fold, that is it. So we can take our tape off now. Now we're ready to put the top mount, put the whole case on, cling it onto the top, and then we can slide it about till the bottom mounting points line up with these two. Right, you join us on the roof of our Defender. So we have got the M6 bolt, the washer, the little top bit, we've got all that lined up. now. This here, if I'm not mistaken, is it, let's need to confirm, is this side shallower than this side? Is this side wider or are they about the same? I'd say they're about the same. Are they about the same? Yeah, okay. I think if, if they're wider, you could put the wider sides of the inside. And they slide in here, like so. So we can slide those little slugs in and then you can put the little packing piece on top. We'll have those ready. And then we need to put these roughly in the right place. So where's the hole here? So they're gonna roughly line up with, with those, aren't they? So we can now get the, get the case up here and line those top holes up. So I'll just grab the case. Right, so you join us on the top of the car. We put this one in already. So Destiny did that. Now you take the washer and the bolt, put that through. And you found it easier to put that up under onto the bolt, didn't you, rather than trying. And, and then what we've got to do is lower it down and put that little slug in, if you can help me, Destiny. You got him, yep. is he about right? He's dead in, he's dead in for the hole. There we go. Now again, we don't want to tighten these too much now. So the plan is, so now we can slide this backwards and forwards a little bit, look. So we can now, get the fittings for the bottom, and then we can slide it. It's starting to look good though. It's starting to look good. Right, if you're cleverer than us, which a couple of you out there are, tighten those up before you go to put this box on. In fact, you could tighten those up. I'll put it in the video. Tighten those up. Now, what was the torque reading, Destiny? Did we get 38 Newton meters is what you need to tighten these up to, um, which is not too bad. Right, let's have a go. So I'll get that tight and then we're ready to put these bottom fixings in. Right, our kit, this kit came with these cross head bolts, but we're gonna get rid of those 
Um, it looks like the Land Rover ones come with a Bolt M6 by 20 with a Allen hex head on it. Right, and then we've got the washer with the little taper side facing the kit. Now, the screw hole is too low. So we've got a, there's, cause it's just resting there and you can see why we put the tape on there earlier. And then we can lift that up a little bit until we can hit the hole. Yeah, it's a bit easier with a screwdriver type fitting. So again, we'll get all these fittings loose cause they're loose at the top, but that allows us to maneuver it. If you spin around this side. Right. and they should all be exactly lining up. Right, it just needs to lift up a bit. Okay. Now if you've got a problem here, it could be that you've got those left and right hanging strips the wrong way around. So remember these two strips here were handed. We had the left and the right. No, front and rear. Front and rear, sorry, sorry. That is a much better way of explaining it, Destiny. Right, so we're all attached now. So right, we'll just check the torque settings. We'll tighten these up. Destiny will check the Land Rover instructions for the torque settings. And then we'll take a final look. We've got to get the covers on then. Right, we've just tightened these up to 11 Newton meters at the top here. And it's the same torque for these ones at the bottom here. So there we go. So we're nearly there. We're nearly finished. Right, so we have got these two covers. They're the same front and rear. And you just got to get these orange clips in the little slots. And then it might be easier to do that with the lid open. There you go. That's better. And they should pop over those. And the front one down. Mm -mm. A bit of masking tape off. So one thing to note is obviously once it's all on and these covers are finished, even though it's slightly horrible doing the, the filing and the cutting, once it's all on, you can't tell, it's just invisible. One other little feature to note on this box, it's got the net inside. It, it actually has a sort of rigid foam gasket. So where it's touching against the body, it's got this slightly rigid foam. It's a bit, Stiffer foam than the genuine Land Rover one, but I think that's actually better on this occasion. Right, so there we go. You've got your lock, you've got that. You're all ready to go to France and get your cheese. Right, let's get some pictures of that on the website. Let's get Ben out. Now, obviously, you can only fit it on this side. Our next video, we're going to do fitting the Molly plate, and we'll fit one of these boxes to each side. Keep an eye out. Right, one thing I just nearly pooped up here. I just went to look for the keys. Now, the keys are cool. They're these sort of high security barrel ones and when you put them in there's only one and you turn it it opens it but um it it doesn't actually fire the lock the it's more of a latch so when you you have to use the key to pull the latch now if you when you close it it then it then pushes be careful don't put the keys in the box and close the latch because it's 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 now effectively locked or latched you need the keys to even open it. Um, so be careful with the keys. <laughs> right, good luck with that.